Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add your user folder to the navigation pane in File Explorer. So obviously you know that you have you know your typical desktop, downloads, documents, pictures, and so on, icons here. And you could right click on them, unpin them if you don't want to see them, and that type of thing. And then if you go into your user folder, which is on the C drive, under users, and then your username, you might have some other folders here as well. So if you want to have a shortcut to your users folder in the navigation pane, it's pretty easy to do so. So to do so, we're going to use a registry entry. So it's a pretty simple one. So I have them open here. So add user account folder to explore. It's just going to create this key here with this D word value. And then to remove it, it's just going to change it to zero. That's pretty much it. Okay, so to start, let's double click the add user account registry file. Click on run, say yes to the UAC prompt, say yes to the prompt where it's telling you it's going to add it to the registry, and then click on OK. So now when we open File Explorer, you can see here we have a user folder for the user who's logged in, and then when you expand it, it has all the other folders here. So let's say, for example, let's just go to the user folder here the normal way. make a new folder like so and now we have it up here as well and then when we delete something let's say we don't have any saved games because we're not playing games deletes it from there as well and the nice thing is that you could just close it up there to keep it neat and then just open it when you need it. And then if you use this, you could always come here and unpin these because technically you don't need them twice because you'll have them here. All right, and then if you want to undo it, let's close this up here, let's remove it. Same process. And now it's gone, just like that. All right, so I will put a link in the description where you could download these two registry files, and then you could add your user folder to your File Explorer navigation pane. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.